fastest street legal car. <laughs> you duh. This is my house, my old house. Look at all this. No way. Yeah. And it looks like shit now. What? Hey. No. They have totally just ruined everything. Here we can get out. Hey guys, John Fitz in here. You're seeing where I grew up, <laughs> okay? This looks like shit right now. Big stone arches, my dad was in a demolition business. This house was valued at $100,000 salvage. Not even, no, $10,000 salvage, yeah. It was just, it was just a, no doors, no windows, no nothing. It was just, none of this stuff was here. My mom came and took it, it won six beautification awards for Utah. Um, yeah, I was kind of a spoiled little brat. I had, my parents had money, but when we first moved in, we didn't have anything. My mom dro drove a dump truck and um, we lost the house. Long story short, it was valued over two million uh, or close to two million when we lost it. Uh, but my mom and dad did everything and it had big raised gardens. These guys took it over. For what I've been hearing, they do drugs in here and all this other shit. My friend that's a cop here has been busted. That gate. Yeah, you look at this gate. My mom had this gate all done up. She uh, designed it and had it made. All this. Fantastic. Isn't that cool? And you can see the big front door. That front door down there is that thick <laughs> and it's solid wood busted my brother's arm uh, my sister did he deserved it <laughs> but um, all this stuff you can't see they they're really weird they got like I said my one buddy that's a cop uh, they came down here on numerous drug things and they're just they just let this thing you wouldn't find a tw uh, twig or yeah and then another arch here But it just, it's just crazy. All the shit that they've done to this place. So this is my, this is where I grew up, but it's a three-story mansion and uh, pretty wild. I had my one friend, Kent, he lived across the street over here. And, uh, you know, so pretty wild. But my dad and his big bodybuilding buddies came down here. They had to really manhandle a lot of this stuff to get it to set in. We, all the trees that were here, all, almost all of them are dead now. And you can see how they're just... But my mom was constantly watering, but it was, it was such a neat place. Really cool place. But now it looks like shit. So anyway, well, let's go see my mom, <laughs> mom and dad. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm here at my mom and dad's place. Anyway, let's go up and see my mom and dad. And... Yo, so long. Guys, we're going to talk about the haunted house that we had here in American Fork. Yeah, we, we did a, a haunted house there. Yeah. We... And it actually came up because of what I... Guys, you guys are going to laugh about this. I... There was a guy that was from Romania that was working at my uncle's in refrigeration. And I go, you're from Romania, huh? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, well, that's where Dracula's from. Who the hell's Dracula? And I'm down there going, Dracula? You know, a guy who sucks butt. Didn't know who he was. And uh, I says, well, you know, I had to explain it to him. And I says, you know, dude, if you can get 100 pounds of dirt, we could really make some money. We could put it in pendants and we could sell it. You know, because Vlad had to have dirt in his coffin to be able to survive from his homeland. So we actually got 100 pounds of it in. And it's supposed to be heat treated, all this other shit. And then when I was doing all this, I told Mom, I says, God, if we made a haunted house here, we could really make some money. And so at that time, we did a haunted house. We had Jacob's Ladders. We had this oh, yeah. guy named Jerry Mimmet. It was a friend of mine, crazy son of a bitch, and we had that kid I, that was <clears throat> seven foot something yeah, yeah. that played Frankenstein. They had him on the thing with the Jacob's line. Oh, it was just cool. We had a snake called Julius Squeezer. Well, we, we put longest, on, we, 
we, Bowie, Bowie, uh, no, Anaconda it was, I think it was, in uh, the state or something like that. But we did see it was really neat. We did some of the craziest damn things did, you could did possibly you charge imagine. people for Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we, 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 what we did, stuff, we, huh? we, no, we did this for Halloween. Yeah, but right. we charged people. Well, we, yeah, damn right we charged. And, and, uh, but it was a uh, Jacob Squeezer was a snake. Yeah, the, Julius uh, Squeezer. Julius, yeah, Julius Squeezer, right. Pardon me. But what we had, it was set up really good because you'd walk in the front door and uh, here's a guy, Bill Hawkins, and, he, and he's standing at the door and he's saying, uh, uh, Welcome. I, I can't do it like he did. He's, uh, he raised his hands and says, uh, uh, Welcome, come into Dracula's castle. And, and, and then he'd say, uh, uh, I am Dracula. And then when he walks in, and you have you a uh, guy uh, laying in a coffin. Look at him, and he'd raise up. And that, then they had over. But, but it looked it looked great. It was a great scene because the whole house was uh, really done up neat. Done up nice, yeah. very nice. And so that, uh, there, there's Frankenstein monster is laying on a table. It's a dummy, and it looks like uh, you think, God. And we had a Jacob's ladder in there. No, it wasn't a dummy. That kid was seven foot tall. No, 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 Jerry Mimmet. Uh, no, the Frankenstein. Remember the kid that was seven foot tall? He was a Frankenstein. No, Jerry. The, the guy who was a Frankenstein was laying on a table. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. And that was and that was that seven foot guy that we had. So from the one room to the snake room, a lot of guys wouldn't even go in. But it was really, really cool how everything was set up. And then, and then, okay, now we're gonna do viewer emails. Wasn't that cool about the haunted house? Yeah, email. All right, now right. emails. Uh, I mean, Genome uh, War Heroes uh, says, Me, my friends and I will load snap caps at each, uh, each other's guns so we wouldn't know when it was coming. That's smart. That's like what I was telling you guys. Yeah, and it just and you watch each other for flinching, you know. It's 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 really a good thing, you know, to do that uh, training. Just have little tiny games you guys are doing, you know. Like I said, with nickels on your gun or something, to see if you can squeeze the trigger off. Especially on a double action, it's fun and all that. So, um, so yeah, keep it up, guys, and send me more stuff what you guys do for training because God, it helps all sorts of people and everything. Uh. You gonna read the one on Rocket? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it is, but somebody said, uh, "Hey, are you guys married? Huh? What's?" I'm what not married to Rocket, but I do live in Utah, and we do call her sister wife. <laughs> sister wife too. You know, God, she's gonna hate that if she hears this. <laughs> Rocket's a good friend, you guys. Love her to death and everything. Uh, I don't think, you know what? If I wasn't married to Tina, I don't think I could handle Rocket. <laughs> I, God, I can't handle any woman. I mean, all these women in my life. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just, jeez. Yeah, I got my daughter, scares the shit out of me. I got my <laughs> wife that scares the shit out of me. Rocket scares the shit out of me. I am afraid of women. <laughs> I got all these other ones. Derringer Darling's been nice. She's been nice. She she was good at the show, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was really nice. Yeah, so. Maybe. Okay, see you later. Keep your edges sharp, powder dry, bite.